What's up YouTube, this is Shabazz and I'm back with another CBD hemp flower review. What's up YouTube, my name is Shabazz. I make educational, entertaining, and informative videos about CBD, hemp, hemp flower, alternative cannabinoids, cannabis accessories, and cannabis in general. If that sounds right for you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. What's up to all my can of sewers? Hope you're staying healthy, hope you're staying safe. Welcome back to another video. Now today, we have a returning vendor to the channel, but before I get to that, I just wanna remind everybody to always check in my landing page. The link is in every video description and my Instagram bio in there. I have links and coupon codes for a lot of the vendors, a lot of the products you see here on my channel, as well as today's video. I do have a coupon code in there and a link. I also have links to my merch and the Legal Clothing Co. So make sure anytime you shop, you check in there, save yourself a couple bucks and help support the channel. All right, as I said, we have a returning vendor to the channel. This is a Shabazz channel, regular, no introduction needed whatsoever. Out of Asheville, North Carolina, I'm talking about WNC CBD. Now, you already know WNC CBD is a household name. It's a staple in the CBD flower industry. I don't really need to uh, talk much about them. If you're watching my channel, I'm sure you probably ordered from them numerous times already. We're gonna get straight to it. So today, we're gonna be reviewing a new strain from them. I actually think that they carried this before, but I never tried it. This is my first time trying this. This is a new batch. Supposedly, it's pretty good. I'm anxious to try it out. This is the Dynamed, okay, which is the famous CBD dominant strain from Dynafem. Quickly though, before we get to that, in my package also for personal use, I have some of the WNC Sour Tsunami. This is a great sativa dominant hybrid right here. We got some of the WNC Arabian Stars Hash Rosin right here. This is actually gonna get its own video and a brand new device. So keep an eye out on the channel for that. It's coming soon. And then WNC includes a letter to law enforcement and test results. All right, so let's dive into this Dynamed review. So Dynamed, this is a strain. It was bred by Dynafem. It was created by crossing some high CBD marijuana phenos together. You know, they hunted, they selected, they got it down, and then they released the seeds, and this is Dynamed. And this is a sativa dominant hybrid. It's about 60, 40, 65, 35 sativa to indica. All right, and the test results on this Dynamed show 15.49% CBD, so basically 15.5% CBD, 0.60% total THC. So very mid-range, upper mid-range, satisfying numbers. And here's the packaging on the Dynamed. Comes in a sealed WNC uh, full graphic Mylar right here. A Little bit of information on that front label with the QR code. All right, let's get into this. And of course, we got our beefy Mighty Morphin scissors right here. I got a link for these in the description. These cut through anything, including these WNC bags, which appear to be made of metal. Oh, like butter. All right, here goes the Dynamit. Oh, that's a familiar terpene profile. It smells really similar to another classic hemp strain. Um, mm, it smells kind of like Pink Panther, that's what it is. Very similar to Pink Panther. It has a very floral, sweet, perfumey, with a, a gassy aftertone to it. It's not really cushy or skunky or anything like that, but it's got a very clean, spicy, uh, very aromatic smell to it. All right, so this is what the nugs are looking like. It's actually really frosty. This strain looks really good. Really bright green, got the orange pistols on there, and just covered in trichomes. It doesn't have a super dense nug structure, and that is, of course, because it's a sativa dominant, so it's gonna have looser than indica, but, but not a loose nug structure by any means. These buds are not airy or loose or larfy at all. These have a really nice hybrid nug structure, a really nice light green color on them, really premium grade A looking stuff. And of course, the trim on this is nice. The squeeze is good, so the cure is good. Nice bounce back, it's not too dry, it's not brittle, falling apart or anything like that. And I don't see any seeds or mold or bug pieces or anything. That's just really frosty and really good looking. Mm, yeah, really smells similar to, smells similar to Pink Panther and Shaolin Glow kind of a combination of those two strains. Really, it's got that spicy, alcoholy, perfumey smell to it. All right, I'm gonna break some of this down, get it ready to inhale, and while I do that, I'm gonna put a high resolution image of it here. All 
All right, breaking that down, it was actually really sticky, hard to get down, so a grinder is definitely recommended. Let's get to it. Ooh, a lot of smoke. Very mild, neutral flavor. Not a ton of taste, not a ton of terpenes going on. A little bit of harshness. Let's go for another hit. Okay, that second hit, I didn't take such a huge hit. It wasn't nearly as harsh. That time, a um, little bit of heat, a little bit of throat irritation, but mostly smooth. Let's just finish off this bowl. All right, and of course, we got this loaded into the vaporizer as well. The Crafty's taking a break today. Got my DaVinci IQC right here, ready to go. Link in the description if you want one. Okay. Really smooth in the vaporizer. The vaporizer, I'm actually getting a, a really toasty flavor. Kind of that cashmere kitty taste with a, a toasty, I don't know. It's not like the burnt popcorn flavor of a uh, used up herb. It's just kind of toasty. It's kind of like a, a caramel almost. Pretty nice in the vapor. That's a really interesting flavor. I haven't really tasted anything like that so far. And it's smooth. That first hit on the smoke was a little bit hot, but I took a really big hit. Second hit I took was much more normal size, and that was pretty smooth. So I'll give this one about a three and a half to a four on the smoothness scale. All right, so like I said, genetically, this is a sativa dominant hybrid. So those are the effects I'm gonna be looking for. However, I've never tried the strain, so I'm open to anything. I'll come back and let you know how I feel. All right, I'm back. And uh, the word of the day for this strain is relaxation all right i feel super chill super mellowed out i'm not lazy or lethargic at all and i'm not really feeling anything in my body at all i'm kind of feeling that kind of fuzzy numbing skull effect right there but i'm also not racy so kind of what the genetics say is what the effects are saying too kind of a 60 65 percent sativa dominant hybrid effects like I said, I feel super chill. I feel super relaxed. My thoughts aren't racing or anything. I'm not super energetic or anything, but I'm also not feeling sleepy or lazy or couch locky or anything at all. Also, my eyes aren't really feeling that heavy or anything. I feel like a little bit of cotton mouth is coming on, but I mostly feel just a, an overall relaxation sensation. I feel chilled out. I just kind of feel like the edge is taken off. This isn't the most potent strain ever, but it's not a weak strain by any means. Honestly, there aren't enough daytime strains or all day hemp strains, at least good ones. You know, you got your Suver Haze and Lifters and stuff like that, but I kind of like this one. I think this is a good all day strain. I think this is something that you could safely smoke in the afternoon and it's not gonna stop you from continuing with the rest of your day or anything. And you could also use this in the evening when you get off work though. You just wanna chill, take the edge off the day. I think this is a little bit of a best of both worlds type of thing, but it's not too heavy. So you could use this in the daytime and get away with it. I think overall, I'm impressed with the way that this strain looks more than anything. It looks super frosty. It's sticky on the breakdown. It's just caked in these trichomes. It's incredibly frosty. And then it has this cool kind of chill, all day relaxation vibe thing to it. So I'm gonna give the Dynamed from WNC the Shabazz seal of approval. This is a nice all day daytime strain right here. Really chill, really relaxing. Remember, this Arabian Stars hash rosin from WNC. I'm going to be reviewing this too in a separate video, so keep an eye out for that. All right, y'all, that's the review. Thank you for watching. You know, not too much to talk about in this one. You already know about WNC. They drop quality. At this point in time, anytime I try a WNC product, I'm expecting something good, and if it was less than normal WNC quality, believe me, I would let you know. Remember to always check my landing page, which is in the video description and my IG bio. And there I have links and coupon codes, including a coupon code for WNC. I also have links for my merch and the legal clothing code. So go in there, save yourself some money and help out the channel. Hit like if you like the video, hit me up down in the comments, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can see when I upload new content. I appreciate each and every one of y'all so, so much. And I sincerely hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night. I'm gonna check you on the next video.
Peace. Damn, hit it slow. Damn.